friends, I'm Akash. In this video, we'll be learning about fractions. A fraction is a type of number that represents a part of a whole. I really like pizzas, and I know you do too. So, let's take the example of a pizza. This pizza represents a whole. Now, let's say we take and eat one of the slices in this pizza. Now, what do we have? Well, we just took one slice, and now there's three out of four left. So, the amount of pizza that still remains is three quarters. Now, let's say I take another slice. Now, how much is left? Well, it seems that I've taken half of the pizza, so that means that there is one half remaining. This is the basic principle of fractions. Now, a way, a good way to summarize fractions is that they are just a part of a whole. Now, again, we'll take an example of a pizza for this, and this time we're going to split it into eight slices. And so, the denominator of this fraction will be eight, as there are eight total slices. Now, let's begin taking slices from this pizza, and we'll count up as we go. So, starting with one-eighth of the pizza, two-eighths of the pizza, three-eighths of the pizza, four-eighths of the pizza, five-eighths of the pizza, six-eighths of the pizza, seven-eighths of the pizza, and finally, eight-eighths of the pizza, which is actually just one, because any number divided by itself always equals one. Now, let's take a look at what these top and bottom numbers mean in detail. So, here we have another circle. And this time, as you can see, we've split it into two parts. So, let's take a look. Now, the fraction that represents the shaded part of this circle is 1 half, which you can write as 1 over 2, or 1 by 2. Now, the top number here, 1, is called the numerator, and it is the yellow part. It's the shaded part in our circle. And the bottom number, the 2, is the denominator, the total number of parts in our circle. And so, the total fraction of the yellow parts of our circle is 1 half. Now, Let's go to types of fractions. There are three major types. Proper fractions, improper fractions, and mixed fractions. In a proper fraction, the numerator, the top number, is smaller than the denominator, the bottom number. Three examples for this are one half, which is one over two, three quarters, which is 3 over 4, and 5 eighths, which is 5 over 8. All of the numerators of these fractions are smaller than the denominators of these fractions. That's why they are proper fractions. Let's move on to improper fractions. In an improper fraction, the numerator is bigger than the denominator, as in 3 halves, which is 3 over 2, 5 quarters, which is 5 over 4, and 11 eighths, which is 11 over 8. In all of these, the numerator is bigger than the denominator. But there's one more type of fraction, and it is the most interesting of all, a mixed fraction. In a mixed fraction, there is both a whole number and a proper fraction, as in one and a half, which is written as one, and then one over two, two and a quarter, which is two, and then one over four, and then four and three eighths, written as four, then three over eight. So all of these are different from the both proper and improper fractions, 
in that instead of having just one fraction, you have a whole number and then a fraction. This is very interesting, and those are the three types of fractions. Proper, improper, and mixed. In the next video, we'll be learning about adding and subtracting fractions with the same denominator. Thanks so much for watching. Love you. Akash.